what's good everybody and welcome back to another preview on a lego star wars junior set the new uh wave of lego star wars sets that we're going to be seeing in 2019 and today we're going to be looking at the on the tie fighter which is my personal favorite one uh mainly because um of the minifigures and just of how i guess interesting it is and the pieces are really big in the set so um twenty dollars um Maybe that's why it was twenty dollars, but um, seventy-seven pieces is kind of a rip-off. Um, both the new thing figures and big pieces, it kind of makes sense, but it kind of doesn't. I feel like I'm um, bringing this one to five bucks. I might buy this one, but not immediately. So for these junior sets, we're seeing a trend here where they're starting to make some new pieces, bigger pieces, like really, really big pieces. As you can see right here on the back box, um, I could easily pull it apart. So basically. A drop test on these would be basically impossible because, you know, it'd be so easy to put back together. But the best part about this set is undoubtedly uh, the new minifigs, uh, especially the Rebel Trooper. My god, we have not gotten another new one of him in a long time. I'm glad he's gotten a new uh, face print. The boot print would have been nice, but um, of course they won't do that. But whatever, you know, who cares? We're getting... We're getting a new Rebel Trooper here, everyone. This is this is hot. I like this. And they have like a little thing right here. It takes place on like I think you have them four. Um, and I do I do uh, like this area, Yavin, uh, Planet Yavin. Um, I do like this uh, set. I'm definitely gonna be getting it for the figs, but only for fifteen dollars once it goes down in price. Um, but otherwise, um. The set is worth buying, it's not uh, straight immediately. If you like Rebel Troopers, uh, you know, this is right up there. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>